Good morning, good morning from Tallahassee. It's a beautiful morning here. Absolutely gorgeous morning. Again, I'm still enjoying my beautiful mandala from my friend, and it's called Peacock's Eye, which is absolutely perfect since I uh, love peacocks. So it is, it's perfect. It's a beautiful day here. I hope you're enjoying the same gorgeous, wonderful weather that we are here. It's cool in the mornings and then it warms up to be absolutely gorgeous in the afternoons. So it's really, really lovely. And that probably has a lot of people outside because yesterday, uh, Catherine and Ruth and I were outside and we had a great time at the Cleaver and Cork event which was food and spirits, uh, all sorts of beverages, and all sorts of food by local restaurants. And it was amazing, absolutely amazing. And it was a fundraiser for the Tallahassee Community College Foundation. It was fantastic, absolutely fantastic. So today we're gonna to talk about money. It's always good to talk about money because we always should feel that we appreciate all the abundance that we have. And in order for more to come to us, it's necessary for us to appreciate whatever is going out. So it is perfect today to talk about money and the fact that the Financial Abundance Tarot reading is the special for this month. And I wanna share some things with you and, and I really would love your feedback on this so it would really help me out a lot. So I really like this. I am currently really honored to be coaching with, I am working as a coach for a prominent uh, psychic uh, in the United States who also works with the Law of Attraction. And of course, that's, that's what I love working with. And he pointed something out to me, and I would love to have some feedback from you to see if that works, that, that he said, your ability to do the readings and your intuitiveness is really, really important and it should not be shortchanged by discounting any of the readings. So I was thinking about that and I thought, well, hey, Jackie, I'm so glad you're here. I was beginning to wonder if I mixed, mixed up my posts and stuff. So. Okay, I've got you down, Jackie, for a card. I'm so happy about this. So, and, and Jackie, I'd love your feedback on this because you have such a, a good sense of this. Anyway, what he was saying to me is, is that your ability is, is of, with clarity and, and helping people to discover the clarity in their life is, or guiding them to do that is not something that can be discounted. It's really important that that ability be treated at, with the value that it has. Hey, Catherine, okay, got you down. So I started thinking about that and, and, it, may, and it resonated with me. So I, as I move forward, what I'm going to be doing is not the discounted readings based on the value that I give, not discounting that value. Hey, Ange, gotcha for a card, but to add value to the reading. For instance, the and it's already been posted, so I'm not gonna make that change. But in the future, the Financial Abundance Tarot reading, when it's offered, I will add value to it, which is how to move forward with the clarity that you gain from the reading. Normally, we just do a reading and that ends without going in depth to a plan to move forward. That will be the value that I add instead of that being an extra cost to you, that will be the special. And I'm feeling better about this. Um, and I'd love your feedback on it because I know many of you out there offer services and offer whatever, and your, your value is important. And that's how I'm beginning to feel too. And I, and again, I'm working with this prominent psychic who also works with, um, if, uh, law of attraction and for him to say that to me to give me guidance as I am working and coaching some of his clients I think that you know I really should treat myself with greater value this is what I teach right isn't that amazing I guess we teach what we need to learn so 
that's what I'm going to be offering for the future. Any of the specials for the month will have add on added on value, but not be discounted in price. Number one, you should get fully what you pay for, and we all should get fully what what we have value of that we that we give. So I will be giving pl uh, added value to whatever you're doing without diminishing my value. Does that make sense? I hope it does. But and it's not meant in any way to to judge anything, but to appreciate me a little bit more and appreciate what I deliver. So I, I hope all of you will bring that to the table for yourselves. I think that it's uh, a good direction to go in. And um, I love you all. And I appreciate your always being here to support me. So it is just something that I wanted to give. Catherine, before you came on, I, I talked about our wonderful afternoon at uh, TCC, Tallahassee Community College, where we were at Cleaver and Cork imbibing in beautiful food and drink and had a great time sitting out in the sun listening to great music so it was really a fun day and i'm usually the one that says well isn't that interesting well i don't get out that much well now i am whoa and i'm loving it i'm absolutely loving it I, okay i'm i'm taking um uh, some guidance from some of like especially a Jackie who's out the, out and about all the time now I'm probably not going to do that because Jackie is Jackie and I'm me but I'm taking a little bit of that with me to go have some fun so yeah it was great so to, we're going to talk about money today but first I want to catch you up on what's happening because today's a today's a biggie and one of those is that the sun meets up with Jupiter today because the sun is in Pisces and it's joined with Jupiter, who now is in Pisces. So this is all about healing, and it's about peace and positive energy. It's the new perspective that we gain. Think about what Pisces is in terms of compassion and love and caring, intuition, uh, support, peace, all of that. We have that energy, and Jupiter has now joined the sun to expand it. So think about so much. Oh, yeah. Okay. Angie, yes, Jackie is the queen of fun and abundance. Yes, she is. We all we all recognize that for sure. Absolutely. So the focus now is on that positive energy and the healing. That's expanding. And there's also an additional part of that because the moon is in Taurus. So we have that grounding, wonderful planning the ideas. And in a moment, I'm going to tell you, a little bit more because the moon is joining Uranus today as well. But the big, the other big thing besides the sun joining Jupiter is that Venus and Mars come together again at zero degrees Aquarius. At zero degree, degrees Aquarius. It was the same degree of December of 2020 that ushered in the Aquarian age. When we talk about that, it's, they are leaving that more restrictive energy because they were together the, this month, they've been dancing around together at the end of Capricorn, along with dancing around with Pluto. That's a totally different energy. Now they're moving into Aquarius. Aquarius is ruled by Uranus. And that is that wonderful energy that's having us look up in a more positive way. It's about humanity. And it's about, about caring. And it's, think, think the Ukraine. Think about peace, humanity, caring. This energy is a positive energy where so many people in the world are sending such positive energy to the Ukraine. Now that's going to just expand, absolutely expand. So the moon joins Uranus today and it's bringing energy of change. That feeling that this is not satisfactory to me. I want to expand and appreciate what I have. And it's good energy. This Taurus energy is about appreciate. Now think about the word appreciate. It is an upward moving energy and vibration. When we talk about property, hey Laura, so glad you're here. When we talk about property, we talk about the property value appreciates, meaning it expands, it gets larger. When we talk about we appreciate something we are expanding that feeling and let's start with ourselves we appreciate who we are and what we bring to this world and what we bring to ourselves 
as Jackie pointed out this week in one of her posts, that you can't, you can't serve from an empty cup. And I love that because that's one of the things that comes up when, depending upon the cards that we choose. So all of that is really, really important. So that's happening now. Hold that energy of, of expanding peace, love, and joy. Hold that because it's about humanity now. So as we move forward, we're going to talk about some affirmations for change because that's what the energy is with the um, effect of Uranus. But first, we're going to talk about some money. And I'm just going to do some brief overviews. Oh, how beautiful, Jackie. Oh, Warren is lucky. Warren is very lucky. And you can tell him I said so. To have you and to him, for, for you to have him. Both of you. That's beautiful. I love that you said that, Jackie. Thank you. So, Aries. Now, whatever whether you're a spender or a saver this month, there's the, the planets do have an impact on the energy. Again, you have choice on how you want where you want to take that energy. Yes, the energy is there. But you've got to decide. You've got to decide how you want that energy to move. You still have free will, no matter whether it's your astrological chart, it's a tarot reading, whatever. Whatever resonates with you can expand, and you do not have to dwell on what doesn't. You just put that aside. It's really important that you trust your intuition and free will whenever we're doing any of this. It's really, really important because that's what resonates with you expands and that's what you're going to attract. So if you don't agree or it doesn't feel right with you on some of the readings, that's okay. It doesn't mean that the reader, me or anyone else is wrong. It means that that's the energy that we're tapping into. That's one of the streams of energy, one of the roads that you can take, but you don't have to if it doesn't feel right to you. So always remember that. So with Aries, money comes through things you create or experience or experiences that you provide. And it could be not just things that you create, but also the, um, the, what you deliver, the, the product or service that you deliver. But money isn't the point right now. So don't put its acquisition at the top of your list. It's about the experience and it's about the feeling. So that's not a bad thing. Oh, not a bad thing at all. So Taurus. Wait until later in the month to make a big purchase or important investment. And that's to get past some of the other aspects here because you'll you're you'll be both bold and wise on or after March 21st and that's after the full moon in Virgo. So take your time, do your research, figure out what's being offered to you, but just make sure that you're in full alignment with whatever those offers are before you make that step forward. So for Gemini if you're teaching or enhancing your own skills or knowledge, that's what's going to attract money. It's up, up leveling whatever service or skill that you have, you know, adding to your toolbox, whatever that makes you more expansive. Again, that's the energy that we're in. Do it. Spend your spare cash on the books or the and and real books the ones that you could write in the ones that you could highlight you know to something that you can touch because it is about that feeling of ha having that in your hand and how you can interact with that okay K gemini oh no i just did that cancer spend money on education books or travel so we're have that energy this month going on with expanding our skill set expanding uh, whatever it is, our knowledge doesn't have to be, the, you can be not in a job that you have to expand your skill set. You just want to do it for you. Expand. That's all this is about. Expand. It's, it's, um, it's a lovely horoscope. Books or travel. Not a bad thing for cancer. On the slender chance you're offered a job abroad, say yes. Cancer. What would that feel like? to be offered a job abroad. Now, it may not be that you're offered a job that takes you abroad. It may come from abroad to you to then take advantage of that and be able to work with someone or offer um, some kind of service. But 
to expand. Again, we're in this expansive mode. We're in the Aquarian age. So it's all about doing that, all about creating that. So for Leo, you could almost make money through your art. You can almost and always make money through your art or your charisma now. Also through your ability to deal with other people's finances or emotional burdens. So if you are in a healing arts or a healing center, that's where you're going to help people heal. And finances are part of who you have a relationship with or what you have a relationship with. So for Leo, you have the opportunity now. Oh, isn't that interesting? And I did. Oh, <laughs> I'm sorry, I just put the two and two together. Those of you that were on at the beginning when I talked about my reading specials and how I'm having them change, I have to tell you, I did not, I, I had not reviewed these. I, I did these a while back and then set them aside for today because I work ahead uh, on setting up my Sundays. And now all of a sudden, here it is. Just what I said, I was making that change with, that was in my horoscope. Honest to God, I did not. I did not read this ahead of time to make that change. Ooh, I love when the universe conspires to expand. Oh, I love it. So Virgo, you're in the mood to be generous and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. Making a lovely gesture or gift is fine, but beware of how long this is going to continue. Have you ever gotten into something where you wanted to be generous, you were feeling loving, and you did something, gave something, whatever it happens to be, and then found out that it was expected to continue. And that wasn't your mindset, but it was the other mindset of the business or the person or whatever it happens to be. So just be careful that this isn't one of those, okay, I'm giving my credit card for this one donation, and then find out you've signed up for the next 10 years. I mean, you know, I'm exaggerating, however, but I'm trying to make a point here. Just watch the money part. Libra, money can be made through some sort of property or domestic venture. Anything from cleaning houses to taking in a lodger. And what comes to my mind is um, a tiny house as in some sort of property or domestic venture. So um, those, of, those of you that are building a tiny house, I think that you, this is, and are a Libra, <laughs> Catherine, <laughs> I think this sounds really, really good for it coming to closure, coming to to an end with getting this situated. So that seems really great. Okay, Scorpio, money comes from what you can create or from investing in others' creations. Buy a piece of art or musical instrument you've always longed to learn. So it's about investment, art, and creation. So you can put the emphasis on whichever word works best for you. The investment, the creations that you sell or what you're doing, so you can make that however you want it to be. But you have this, you're a water sign. The sun is in Pisces, it's a water sign. We're getting ready for the sun moving into Aries in our astrological new year. So this is really, uh, uh, an amazing time for you, Scorpio, to, to use all that water energy and just really just kind of take that energy and mold it and create it. Wow. Sounds really good. Sag, believe it or not, you can make money from all sorts now. That means all avenues or abundance are open to me. Now, we all should say that So that's and because that's true. For Sag, it's really that energy is sparking there right now. So what can be refurbished or restored? Put your talents to good use and make a tidy profit. So take a look. Yes, yes, that is you. All avenues. Yes, Jackie, for sure. And Ruth, all avenues or abundance are open to you. Is it possible to take something and refurbish it, redo it? Is it possible? Maybe you love doing a garden to offer plants as as a gift or or. I don't know if you can if you want to sell something like that, but offer as a gift. But your talents for creating are right there to to be. And, and yes, Jackie, that's perfectly you, especially with your designs, your building of home. I mean, we could go on and on, Jackie. Yes, you are the queen of this. So anyone else, 
just take a look at what how Jackie ma manifests this and creates this, but do it on your own. Do your own thing. So this Sag energy is perfect, Sagittarius, for creating. Maybe you are choosing to do it in, a, oh, okay, you already started your indoor garden. Perfect. Perfect. Oh, I love that. Love it. Capricorn. Venus and Mars are together today, and they enter your solar second house of money, Capricorn. So there will be a few more golden chances to make from this. So go ahead and expand. Go ahead and do whatever you can, Capricorn, because Venus and Mars were dancing around with Pluto in your sign. Now it's moved into your house of money. So Aquarius, take the high road when it comes to financial matters. Focus on your creativity, which isn't confined to art. And art, it, I'm putting art in quotes. This is the perfect month to give to a cause dear to your heart. You are the humanity, humanitarian sign, the age of Aquarius. So however you can move that forward is absolutely perfect. So for Pisces, Lady Luck is with you now, Pisces. Doesn't that feel good? Doesn't that feel good, especially after the sun moves into Aries, and that's after the 20th. Your solar second house, and that 21st, sorry, on the 21st. So make extra cash by selling unwanted items. And I'm really loving that idea anyway. Whether you sell to make money or you donate to a cause that will make some money from it, to declutter. I mean, it's time to, to get get rid of that, get get things out of the way. And it doesn't matter where it goes. Just give yourself some breathing space. That's how it feels to me when I start my declutter. These bookshelves used to be jam-packed with books. I mean, it was like, and I love books. So I'm, I didn't necessarily give them all away, but I had to clear out because it was like weighing here. And feng shui is applied to that and what, what I have here. So really... For any of you, whatever extra cash you can make from selling, and there's lots of apps now where you can sell on the app and make money from it as well. Um, I was watching an advertisement today. The whole point of what we're doing right now is about change. We can't, you know, if we keep doing the same thing over and over again, you know, that famous quote. So it, it's not going to change. And Yes, a definition of insanity, but we're not there. We just get in habits. I mean, I don't know about you, but, uh, you know, it's easy to do it this way. I kept doing it. Develop the habit doesn't mean that it has any purpose beyond that it becomes a habit on how I make my coffee. But it's okay that I do that that way. But there are some habits and behaviors that we can take a look at because they're not serving us anymore. They're not meaningful anymore. And all of a sudden, it'll come crop up and slap you in the face and, and you'll say, oh my gosh, I guess I don't have to do this. I don't have to do it this way. Yeah, I've been doing it this way all along, but now I can change it and streamline. Easy and relaxed. Path of least resistance. Whatever it is, whatever it is. Oh, okay, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, I appreciate that. That was that's a wonderful compliment, and I, I really appreciate that. Thank you. So we're talking about affirmations for change, and here we go. I am ready to embrace a new me. I want you to really breathe that one in. I am ready to embrace a new me. I love that one because, again, it's appreciation expansion, growth. I let go of the past and move forward. I let go of the past and move forward. There's nothing wrong with memories. We love those memories, but if they keep us stuck in what was instead of our creating what can be, that is when it's time to change. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. I'm so glad you're here. Next, number three, I can transform my life. I can transform my life. 
I really want you to think that you have that power. You have the ability to do that, to transform my life. I am forever evolving. I am forever evolving. Doesn't that feel good? You're not stuck. You have options. You are unlimited. You are unlimited. All paths to move forward are open to you. You get to choose what they are. That's power and that's freedom. The changes in my life are empowering. Blah, 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 try that again. The changes in my life are empowering. Yes, change is empowering because it's growth and expansion and joy that comes in there too. I release my negative, any negative energy holding me back. And all you can do is breathe. Breath can take that away. I release any negative energy holding me back. <sighs> breathe that. Let that go. You do not have to hold on to it. No, there's, there's no attachments. There's no nothing. You do not have to hold on to it. Here's the next one, and I want you to think about it in terms of the mandala and, and, and sun. It's my time to shine. You don't have to be a Leo where your son is the ruler to have that. It's my time to shine. It's always your time to shine. You get to choose that. Don't you love that freedom of choice? It's my time to shine. I am clear of all bindings and negative thought patterns. Yep, I'm clear of all bindings and negative thought patterns. And we talk, I mentioned a little bit about this last week when, when we, I believe, when we were talking about it. At some point I mentioned it. Um, but we were talking about um, cutting cords and bindings, energetic ones. And that it's not about taking a sword or scissors or whatever it happens to be that you want to use to cut. It's what we talked about last week and, and Jerry, Jerry, Jackie was amazing with her reference of, of Jackie, tell me what you said, please. Uh, detach with love, detach with love. So it's not about cutting it. That's so, that's an, an angry type action. So it's about detach with love, loving that away. So it's just like having a scab on your hand. And when that scab falls off underneath, it's healed. The same thing with any negative energy bindings that you may have, love them away, detach with love. Because once it's detached, you are healed. That's the most important part. Nothing else can attach to that. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. That's a biggie. I deeply and completely love and accept myself. That is love, self-love. How about this one for expansion and unlimited? I want to experience it all. I want to experience it all. Bring it on, universe. I want to try it all. I want to experience it all. All is well in my world. And I, I, Ruth has been kind enough to post these here in the comments, and I will also do a separate post with these as well. All is well in my world. That's similar to everything is always working out for me. Everything is always working out for me. And last but not least, I am supported and loved. Whether in this dimension or the non-physical dimension, I am supported and loved. And that's who you are. Always supported and loved. Always cared for. And it starts with you first. With that full cup. With that full cup that you can serve from because you love yourself enough to know that this is who you are and you are fantastic. You are fantastic. 
I do have a request to make. This is the other thing that I forgot to mention at the very beginning. If you would do me a favor when you come on, and I'll post it in my comments for the future, is if you would share this Facebook Live with others. Yes, 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 yes. If you would share this Facebook Live with others, and you can do it you know, from the recording as well, because it's it goes public, I would really appreciate that. I know that many of you have so many friends on Facebook and and others that that may love this or not, but they get to choose. So if you would share that with them, I'd really, really appreciate it. So when I come on with Facebook Live or after this post, the video, please do. I would love for you to do that. That would mean so much to me. Thank you so much. Okay, let's do our cards. Let me get this moved out of the way. So I have a spot here. I have, by the way, I have the pooches this weekend and they're both sound asleep in their beds right beside me. No one came to the door for them to bark, so that's a good thing. Okay, so we have, oops, and I closed my book. So Jackie, Catherine, and Angie. Okay, here we go. Jackie. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you, thank you. I always appreciate that you do that. All right, Jackie, here we go. Ooh, I love this one. This is one of my favorite, favorite cards, Jackie. This is the Six of Wands, and this is for everyone. And this comes with everything that we talked about today about being appreciated and 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 changing our attitude. This is about being recognized for the value that you give. This is like a depiction of, okay, he's gone off to battle. He's saved the town. Nobody ever thought about him before, nor considered him to be a hero or someone that can be supportive of them and do the job and fight the battles and come back. And he now is recognized for being the wonderful, fantastic person that this is the picture that I'm talking about. He is. But for you, it's now you recognize, wow, okay, this is also about my message when I first started. I love how this all happens. You are recognizing who you are, the value that of who you are, and that is shared with everyone. Yes, you will be recognized. You are being recognized for the value, the services, the experience that you give. And this is for Jackie. This is Jackie's card, but this is for everybody. You all have your special gift to give to the world. And this is saying it's fantastic. Don't compare yourself to someone else. Don't judge anyone else or yourself. You are valuable. And again, that was my own lesson. And I'm happy to share it with learning that from, from the person that I'm working with now. It, it was a wonderful feeling rather than being confined or diminished to feel expansive that way. So that's what I'll be doing for the future. Again, I've, I've done this um, offering this month for half price, but they won't be that way after that. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Thank you, Jackie. Thank you. Okay, so now we have Catherine. Hey, Kara. Okay. Catherine. All right. Sorry. Let me do this one more time because they kind of hopped around and to a point that I could not just a minute. All right, here we go. All right, Ten of Cups. It's all coming together, like the tiny house and family and dance and, oh, and, and clients and, oh, hey, thank you, Tina, for being here. I appreciate you. So this is beautiful. This is a beautiful card for you, Catherine. So it's all come together. 
all the all the things that you've been wanting, all the things that you've been doing, all the things that you've been planning and putting together, it's now, you know, you've been pulling the pieces, getting the puzzle pieces together, it's now there. And you open up and there it is. There it is. It's pure joy. It's all coming together. And this is cups, so it's emotions, it's feelings. So it's that overflowing feeling of it's all done. And the beauty of this card is that the rainbow is the cups. So it's so lovely. But for you, this is like, oh, doesn't this feel good to know that it's all come together? And the other thing that I'm feeling, hey, Debbie. The other thing that I'm feeling from this, because the 10 ends a cycle, and then you start again at the next one, You're, you, all these pieces have come together for you, and now the next step is, so a new cycle is coming that you are building on what you've already created. So, you know, it could be your real estate dynasty. This is only the beginning. This is only the beginning. It feels really good and expansive. Good morning, Debbie. I'm so glad you're here. Thank you so much. Okay, and Angie. So for, for new people that have just come on, I did money uh, March and your money and did some um, affirmations for change. And then the first three people that engage on the page, I do a card at the very end. And of course, it's a single card reading, Debbie, but the um, it applies to everyone. So now we have Angie because we've got, what I love about this is that yes, it's this card will be for Angie, but it's Angie's beautiful energy along with that card that is shared with everybody else. So, I love it. Oh, love when the, this happens. This is, this is the theme for, for today, Six of Wands. So, imagine, Angie, what I said for Jackie when she got the Six of Wands. So, this energy is out there. This energy is out there. And that means that not just for Jackie or for you, Angie, each with your own, own niche, but for all of us, we can shine. And that was one of the affirmations, that you shine and share that beautiful gift that you have. That And it's going to be seen now. It's going to be recognized. It's going to be appreciated because that was really the word for today as well. It is fantastic. Yes, Kara, thank you for that. So, Angie, this is your card. Yes, bring it on. Universe is right. Okay, I've got to do one more. And I'm doing a little juggle here because I have to do that, the spirit animal deck. You know how much I love that deck. And I know some others of you have this deck as well. It just means so much because I am curious now because this one always comes together and ties up the theme so beautifully just with the animal cards. And I have to do shuffle the old-fashioned way with these cards because it... Um, they're, they're quite stiff and large. So, anyway, <laughs> here we go. All right. You are never alone, Otter Spirit. That means for you to get out there and shine, you have so much su support, whether in the physical realm or the non-physical, that you should never worry. That is, never worry. Never worry. You are so supported. You can't fail. Nothing is a failure. It's only an opportunity to expand. Nothing is a failure. It's only an opportunity to expand. And isn't this beautiful? You are never alone. All right. This is what I do for my private clients, but I'm doing this for today anyway, because I just feel, ooh, because the theme, you know, we're hitting all this, all of these pieces are coming together and the universe is working with us. So I like to take that single card and then the, take the card before and after it. And that gives a concise, but very, very intuitive three card reading. So here we go. The card before that was, a rebirth is assured because you are never alone. 
So secure your path and clear out the clutter. And we talked about that already. We talked about the clutter that gets in our way, whether it's ideas or actual physical stuff, and that it's time to move that away to expand. It's hard to expand when you don't have room to do that because there's stuff in the way. So that rebirth is assured because you are never alone, always supported. So clear out the clutter. Isn't that amazing? Oh, I just love how that works. So I'll post this three card thing on the uh, uh, reading as well on the page because I love this, love this deck. And um, also the affirmations. I'll do a separate post. Uh, Ruth was wonderful to make, to uh, post here in the comments all the different affirmations, but I'll also do a separate post of that. So I am here anytime. Just reach out to me. I'll message me on Facebook for anything. If there is, if this is a reading that you would like to do just from the Spirit Animal deck, reach out to me. We'll talk about how, because I like the three card reading the best. That's only, that's only a 15 minute reading. So think about that, what you would like to do. If that's something special with the animal deck, because I've done it here, just talk to me about it, message me. The, again, the special of the month is the Financial Abundance Tarot reading. We're talking about change and bringing money in, decluttering, getting that out of the way. So all of the messages today were unbelievable, including my not being any aware, of course, of the universe, because the universe always conspires for me. Oh, thank you, Angie. Thank you for mentioning Tarot Flow. Tarot Flow is this Saturday at 10 o'clock. And it is a wonderful time. Angie and I do it together. She is the essential oil guru. Unbelievable. Each person that is there, thank you, Jackie. Thank you for yours. Each person that is there gets a single card reading. So you'll get the single card reading plus Angie then in her, in her unbelievable intuition and wisdom does a reading that will surround essential oils specifically for you. Then when we're finished, the full energy of the reading is there because you, you have your single card reading, plus we've got several other people, so you get a multi-card reading. That energy of that, then Angie takes that energy and creates an essential oil blend based on the essential oils from each person that and sends it to you so it's not just you're getting the recipe you're actual having sent to you the essential oil blend in a, a roller ball a five milliliter i think right and a five and it is so fantastic we have a great time um we do amazing things together the energy is fantastic supportive loving and a safe place for whatever it is that you want to do it's fantastic. The following Thursday is the online tarot gallery reading. That is just the single card reading, like what we did here. Again, giving a group reading. And um, great group of women. Some of the women that are there are also in tarot flow. And it's just such a... I never know, just like here today, I never know what's going to come out of that on either Tarot Flow or online Tarot Gallery reading. Again, Tarot Flow is the single card reading plus that amazing essential oil blend and reading that Angie does. Online Tarot Gallery reading is the single card reading by itself. You will have the, your card, same thing in Tarot Flow on your special Facebook page. I will text you your Tarot Flow card. It's Sorry, now I'm confusing myself. I will text you your online tarot gallery reading card and you will receive a recording in email of the session on tarot flow it's a facebook page where your card will be in the recording it is amazing we have the best time and i think that you would love it if you'd like to participate the links are above in the comments before the um facebook live Again, reach out to me at any time. I'm happy to have a conversation with you about whatever you desire. There's clarity in life and it makes 
life so much easier. The flow is so easy. Thank you. Thank you, Ruth, for posting that. It's a great time. We have a great time. Have a wonderful Sunday. Enjoy this beautiful, beautiful weather. And remember, joy has your name on it. Bye now.